Hi guys! So I've decided to upgrade my Arduino Uno to Wemos ESP32 for my next project. ESP32 gives you an integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and therefore opens up a whole lot of new possibilities. It is designed for IoT applications. These include sensor hub, data loggers, cameras for video streaming, speech and image recognition, home automation, wearable electronics and so on. The nice thing is that you can use the same development environment, programming language and some of the libraries as Arduino does. You can even use the same Arduino IDE to program it. Let's take a first look. If you come from Arduino Uno, you notice how similar the boards look. I even used the shell I originally purchased for Arduino for my new board. Only the rear side didn't fit, as ESP32 has a micro USB connector, while for Arduino you will need a standard USB printer cable. Arduino Uno is based on 8-bit at Mega 328P microcontroller. ESP32 has a much more powerful dual-core Extensa 32-bit LX6 microprocessor. So basically you now have a 32-bit chip in the casing of an Arduino Uno. There's 4 megabytes of flash memory for ESP32 in comparison to only 32 kilobytes on the Uno. ESP32 has a power barrel jack, a micro USB connection and a reset button. There is a number of general purpose input-output pins. Each pin has multiple functionalities which can be configured using specific registers. There are many types of GPIOs available like analog enabled, digital only, capacitive touch enabled, UART, SPI communication and so on. There are power pins on the upper left side. This is a simple LED circuit powered by 5 volts. There are analog input pins on the lower left. These analog input pins have 12-bit resolution. This means that when you read an analog input, its range may vary from 0 to 4095. In ESP32, the built-on LED on board is connected to pin number 2, while for Arduino it will be connected to pin number 13. An example that uses one of the other analog pins is this potentiometer for the servo motor. Its signal wire is connected to pin 34. Another example is the water level sensor. There are two I2C pins on the upper right hand side. There are four SPI pins underneath. For example, LCD display is connected to all these pins. GPIO 22 is SCL pin. GPIO 21 is SDA pin. You can get details about this schema from my previous videos. I will leave a link to the Arduino tutorial playlist below as well as my GitHub link for all this code. Nearly all GPI pins can be used as PWM outputs for driving digital motors and LEDs. There are two DAC channels to produce two analog voltages. There are two UART interfaces used for serial communication between two devices. For example, RGB LED uses PWM pins 12, 13 and 14. There is no analog write function defined for ESP32 yet, so I am using function sigma delta write instead. Another example are digital inputs. 
Just like with a regular Arduino, you can set the function of a pin using pin mode. You can set it to input pull-up to enable the built-in pull-up resistors for GPIO 0 to 15. Another example is passive buzzer. Function tone is not defined yet, so use LEDC write tone instead. Hope this helps and gives you a slightly better understanding of the ESP32 pins. There's one last step to get started. You will need to install an additional board manager for ESP32 in Arduino IDE. This example for Blink works without any modifications. In Platformio, when creating a new project, just specify the board you are using. Changes will be stored in the INI file. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video.